Hey guys, so this is day two. Welcome back. Um, me and Jonathan, we got all the parts on his E46. He also got some brakes from our last place last night. So we're gonna throw the brakes onto this car because it needs them. And then also we're gonna see if we can get my brother's rims fit his car. I think it will. I think it'll look dope. These rims are terrible. So we're gonna throw my brother's rims and hopefully they'll look a lot better. But yeah, so we're gonna do brakes and we're gonna do some new rims. Let's get it. All right guys, I don't know if you guys can see up the rotor, it has this lip, which means you have to get it resurfaced before we put on new brake pads. I learned my I learned my lesson on my 330i, you're not supposed to put, if you try to put brakes on this, you would destroy your brakes, like instantly. It's, it's not gonna make it, so that sucks. It means, yeah, you have to keep your, your brakes. And if you ever wanna upgrade your brakes, you might as well do your rotors, so I mean, you do have new brakes, so you gotta use order rotors. So that, that's probably gonna be like maybe 80, 60 to 80 bucks. It's actually not that expensive. But yeah, we, we can't do the brakes right now, unfortunately. Pads, they're like... They're oh, oh, they're pads. Damn, guys, look at the pads. Dude, there's no pad left in this thing. Damn. Yeah, do you need to order rotors? Actually, this one has some life. Bro, this, look at this one. Oh, I don't want to hear it. I don't have to buy it. <laughs> you're, gonna need, you're gonna need some pads and some rotors. Well, you have pads. You just need some pads, rotors. You need rotors now. Unless we can put on the wheels. Wanna see the wheels? Might as well. <laughs> see, it's some way to the bright side. <laughs> 225, 50, 50. holy shit. That's tall. 17, so these are 17s, okay. Guys, so this was the before massacre. That's the after. Damn. See? And when he tries to sell the car one day, you can say he has Michelin tires. And this has like really good tread on them. I think they have like a six out of ten, something like that, or eight a seven out of ten around there. It has nine. Oh, it has nine? Okay, then it has a nine out of ten. He's the tire boy, so <laughs> he would know. So yeah, these are pretty badass. Guys, we're about to swap out this side as well. Look how ugly this shit is. Damn. Ah, <clears throat> oh, stop here for a second, Johnny. I wish you guys could see the significant difference. Dude, John, <laughs> you might want to get out here for a second. Just look at the difference. <laughs> I mean, your car looks like it's been taken care of a dealership, not like a modified Whoa. car. But it looks good. so good. What the hell? Look at the other. Look at the oh, other look side, good, dude. dude. Look at the other side. Oh my God. Dude, that's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so you have the turn signals right there, blow a motor. We're gonna try to do a lot in this video. So other than that turn signal, I gotta order that as well, and the shift boot. Uh, the steering wheel is pretty bad. Erlon's coming over right now, so I want him to drive it with a decent steering wheel. This is pretty bad. So let's go ahead and swap out the steering wheel. We'd have to wait on the boot. We'll do the blower motor also in this video, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get that steering wheel off. Just taking out a few screws. I went ahead and just disconnected the battery, guys. Remember, safety first, and then this is the new steering wheel. It looks so much better. Damn. I don't know why there's a little bit of oil right here. That's strange, I wonder where that came from. I don't think I have any oil stuff in here. Oh, that big jug probably. Damn, there's a little bit of oil on here too. Let me go ahead and clean off the steering wheel. 16, almost there guys. We'll take out the steering wheel. This ugly, disgusting steering wheel. That was going on, bro? Oh, you got the wheels on there? Look hella good, right? What's up, bro? What's up, playboy? <laughs> That looks good. Dude, it looks so good. It looks like it's been maintained at the dealership, right? Yeah, it looks like it. It's clean. <laughs> looks hella clean. Guys, yeah, look how bad the steering wheel is. Damn. This thing's garbage. In with the new. No crusty, nothing ripping out here. It looks really good. Hi right, guys, check it out. New steering wheel. Well, semi new for this car at least. <laughs> no, nothing, no damages. We do need a boot on the Pronto. But uh, for now, Erlan wants to drive it. So I'm gonna let you hear the beast turn it on. You know? 
Let's do it. Are you taking this off to see if it's the same style as ours? Oh no. You can try pulling it out. You got Dude, some strength. It's so hard to take off. I was gonna say. Rips my transmission out. <laughs> this is the... Alright, get your ass in there, Johnny. Look at my seals. Got on yeah, this seal is just like sagging and shit. It's not bad, right? I mean, there's no power, I ain't gonna lie, but. It sounds good, bro. It sounds so good. Should get the exhaust coming out the front. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the fire, just like, bop, bop, bop. Guys, I think it's time to start uh, replacing this blower motor. Guys, once getting all that plastic shit out, there is a blower motor. We need to get that thing out. Can't really tell if it's bad, but it's bad. All right, guys. So the, the thing is in there. I'm not gonna test it for long. But that's the new blower motor. Please God, that was an absolute mm, to put in. So, uh, Jocelyn told me to bleep out a couple things in person for y'all, so that's what I did. All right, all right, John, you know what? You can start it up and then turn on the AC. Oh, do we have to turn on, start up the car for the AC or no? Yeah. All right, start it up. Completely dead. Uh, I think I blew a fuse. Maybe. Damn it. All right, guys. I just disconnected the reconnect of the battery. For some reason, it didn't give signs of life before. Let's go ahead. Hope to God our blow motor works. All right, guys. We're over here. Nora's uh, almost done with putting this back together. Yep. We're kind of hoping at this point that it's a, uh, what, a fuse or the mm -hmm. resistor because uh, well, it wasn't it working. Has one, it has to be one. Yeah. But I'm really hoping it's the fuse. If it's the fuse, that would be a blessing because the fuse is a lot easier to get to. I tried getting to that resistor in my car and it was just a big pain. It took me like 30 minutes I didn't even get it out. So hopefully it's not that. I don't think it's a big of a deal like as this, like the actual blower motor. Um, but we'll see, I guess. All right guys, so I'm gonna have to order a fuse. I'm gonna have to order a resistor, but those are the only two things left. In the meantime, we're gonna also swap out these little side markers because we have better ones, slightly dimmed out the knees. So let's go ahead and swap them out real quick. Before, after, so you guys can see slightly tinted. I think those look pretty dope. Uh, Come on to the inside now. I just started up to test out the blower motor and I got a service engine light. So that's not good, I'm trying to pass smog. So let's see what's going on here. Yeah, you guys can see right there, service engine light. So I don't know where that came out of. Uh, hopefully everything's good. Let's just go ahead and plug in Carly and see if it works. I'm gonna connect to the car. On E46s, you actually have to let the car run to read the codes. And look at that. The oil light just comes on and off. This has been doing it before the oil change and after the oil change. So obviously there's some very minor stupid shit. But you guys can see it's on and it's about to go off like any minute now. Um, please do a full diagnostic. The engine has to be running. Yeah, it's running. Okay, go. Diagnostic, diagnostic, start. Okay, and you guys can see it's already off. Like, it just goes on and off. I think uh, the sensor needs to be replaced on that. Regardless, it's good, it doesn't stay on, so model is good. Uh, but that service engine light's got to go. If I go on motors, it says camshaft sensor signal inlet. So, uh, something's clearly going on with the camshaft sensor. Plausibility, some, I don't even know what the heck that says. I'm gonna go ahead and not even clear it. Cause it went away last time, I hope it'll go again again. I, mean, I hope it'll go away again for smog. So yeah, camshaft positioning sensor uh, needs to be replaced. I seen that code yesterday. I already checked up what the code is. So yeah, we need to replace the camshaft sensor. Not a big deal. Uh, sometimes it goes away. So hopefully by the time it goes away, I'm just gonna drive it down to smog, get it past smog, and then uh, yeah, we'll get, I'll order the sensor for now, of course. Yeah, I'm only one turn signal is on. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> What's up, guys? Oh, damn, you're ready, shit. What the heck, is that Milwaukee? All right, guys, so we tried your thing with the blower motor. Erlon's over here doing the resistor for me, so shout out to you, my dude. Uh, yeah, I I tried doing this with Jonathan on his parts car, and it was an absolute B, so uh, hopefully Erlon can do it for me, because... Because, uh, as most of you know, I'm YouTube certified. So. Exactly. And he worked at BMW, so he's BMW certified. So it's, oh. everything is gravy in the Navy. <laughs> That's good, bro. 
Bro, you guys, our alarm found the spare key. I kept that just in case I need to unlock the doors and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, all right, it's AC. That's already blowing, huh? Dude, it's blowing. Yeah. Hey. Is it cold though? No, the car's not on. Hey, Arlan, my brother. Woohoo! Oh, it's cold as shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Hey. Okay. All right, guys, it is late night, but Arlan found out that. Uh, show, show him what you just told me right there. So, like about how you, know, how you know it's a sensor, not the actual camshaft. Because, like, camshaft B over retarded. You can get camshaft B over retarded, which is the Vanos fault but like in some cases you could do a bit of sensor goes bad or you get oil like this so yeah, if more is lucky can you see oil in there yeah can you get that huh? i think they can see it there's oil in the sensor and in the connector so that means there's no it's not getting a connection the sensor shot you can see the sensor down there has oil on it all over too and you might get lucky by switching out the sensor with the new sensor but if you're unlucky it ran through the wire onto the dme and the fault will never go away but damn you just try to replace it first. Well, time. let's just replace it and hope for the best here, because the light goes like goes away. It only it only comes up when I disconnect the battery and reconnect the battery. Yeah. So, so let's just yeah, replace that shit real quick. What you got for me, big boy? What's the difference between these two sensors? <laughs> the relays. Huh. That's insane. But it works. Well, as long as that's the problem. As long as it works. Remember guys, replace the resistor, not the motor like I did, because I'm an idiot. You replaced the motor already too? Oh, I replaced the motor already. I know. Anything you want to say, Habibi? I know. I'm sorry. Not only you, bro. Like, all right, guys. So Erlan put in the new camshaft sensor, and he also put in the new resistor for the AC. So your boy shouldn't begin the check engine light. All right, let's check this out. Because the sensor. Oh, it's blowing hella cold. You feel it? It's hella cold, bro. Damn. Found it. Crazy. New watch, I'm clowning. OG's out of town.